Hey guys, it's bro you whack and welcome to virginity almost three years ago I gave you guys a tour of my hero gallery Basically, I went through each and every single hero and I talked about my favorite skins favorite items from the heroes and Just showcase all the things that I've collected over the past couple of years of playing overwatch And since the anniversary event just recently dropped forced me to complete the hero gallery again by putting myself into debt I figured I would make another tour of my hero gallery skins and cosmetic items Now one thing I want to quickly mention is that this is part one of a two-part series the second video will be up tomorrow or is already up by the time you're watching this because I don't want to make this a 40 long minute video We are only going to be going halfway and then the other video will be looking at the other half of the heroes Now you will see some heroes have a couple items missing like Doomfist has three items missing or Zenyatta has two And the times that the heroes are not completed It's either because I don't have their gold gun like Zenyatta I have his golden gun on one of my other smurf accounts or because I am missing an achievement spray Because some of these are just so hard Hard man, like for Zenyatta, I'm missing the rapid discord achievement, which I don't think I'm gonna be getting anytime soon, so I won't be completing Zenyatta anytime soon. And the first hero we're gonna be looking at is Ana. Now, she's one of my favorite heroes when it comes to her cosmetic items because, well, specifically with her skins, they're very fun but very uh, sporadic. Right now, I have Cybermedic because that was a skin that just recently released, but her epic skins just kind of showcase what I mean by that. Ghoul and tall, very scary, kind of creepy. Gingerbread is what you come to expect when it comes to an epic skin, but kind of boring even the best uh, hero skin challenge that we got with the second hero skin challenge a while back but then her legendary skins are some of my favorite as well like sniper and Kambana are the skins that you kind of expect for Ana either make her a grandma or make her a sniper but not nah, they gave her a snow owl or made her into a mummy or made her dress up as a pirate like what do you really expect when it comes to an Ana skin at this point because she's not really a grandma she's not really a sniper nah she's a freaking owl beach ball is one of my favorite emotes mainly because at least an actual beach ball on the field so you can have an army <laughs> of beach balls but for the victory poses and I won't go into too much detail of each and every single category for heroes but I use the toast victory poses a lot because I like to see the unique cups or drink in this case it's a cute little tea cup for Anna the voice lines I won't go into too much detail also follow but I have the follow me the voice name. line because it's a terminator reference that's always cute and then the highlight intro this is my favorite highlight intro in all of overwatch vacation where she's sipping on a little martini but Ana was one of the few gold guns that I really wanted to get but I didn't because I really wasn't that good with Ana because well console Anas they're kind of not that great because of the aim assist window but eventually I had to get it so I got the Ana gold gun. Ash is up next but it's really Bob's cosmetic items here because yeah Ash is kind of cute and, and little red Ash and socialite but Butler Bob or, or, or Grandma Wolf Bob come on now if you're not getting Ash skins for Bob then you're missing the whole point point. and that's part of the reason why I can't pick my favorite Ash skin because well here he's a mob boss or even in the epic skins with Mardi Gras or even in winter he's looking fire as well but it's really the golden skin that gets me going with Bob because I mean look at it it's so weird to see him without the gold ooh Ooh! I always love to see highlight intros that incorporate Bob because, well, Bob is just as much of a hero as Ash is, and like I said before, it's mainly Bob that we're all here for. <laughs> now, Baptiste, I've said before, is one of my least favorite heroes in Overwatch. Now, I don't hate him compared to Hanzo or Doomfist, but he's just kind of a boring hero. That's why I still haven't gotten his gold gun, even though, ooh. Oh, even though it looks really good on this funky Batiste gun, but this is one of his only good skins that he has. It's kind of hard to design skins around him. I, I have all the skins and all of the epic skins. Terracotta is pretty interesting. He looks like that stone statue from Super Mario Odyssey and Kabek Medic and Talon are good lore skins, but nothing that I really want to write home about. His base legendary skins are kind of lame too. He's just, I don't know, man. He's just kind of a lame hero. I do like him sipping on soup though in this one. But like why is he drinking soup? Why Batiste out of all heroes? The close-up highlight intro I think is one of his best items though because it looks like an anime intro where it's like his backpack and then his eyes, his backpack, his eyes, and then pew, 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 he's ready for battle. <laughs> Bastion! I actually have a soft spot for Bastion because he doesn't get a lot of love in-game, but surprisingly when it comes to skins and other emotes and whatnot, he gets a lot of items. So right now I have Dragonfire equipped because that was the latest skin that he got recently that I thought was really good. Brick is probably 
probably my all-time favorite Bastion skin because I love Legos as a kid and this was a fantastic idea for Bastion because he's a robot that is just like built like Legos and all the epic skins are even great too like sand cows is one of my favorite because of the sand bucket but his bird oh this is one of the one things I look forward to when it comes to Bastion skins is seeing how they transform it like here it's a crow to symbolize death and gift wrap it's a Christmas bird and rooster it's an actual rooster avalanche a snowbird so Bastion is very unique in the skin department because of the bird and how they transform it to look like other robots and he, my god he has so many emotes boxing even though I don't have it equipped is one of my favorites because it's a sock and box some robot which is a good idea for Bastion because he's a robot too the highlight intros is the only thing that he's lacking though Ganymede or however you pronounce his name is probably one of my favorites because well it showcases his bird which is the main reason why you play Bastion is just to see the bird Brigida so this was one of my favorite heroes at one point and then everyone started to hate her because of the goats meta and then Blizzard decided to give her a goat skin which is pretty bold of Blizzard I do gotta say this is the skin I use the most because it is a rare and exclusive skin that not a lot of people have and I don't think a lot of people want it because well it reminds them of the goat meta and it brings back lots of trauma <laughs> when it comes to Brigida skins they're usually like a hit or miss for me like her mechanic or a fisherwoman or riot police they're kind of eh but shield maiden opera and her night skins are really dope and I guess her epic skins are kind of cute too I really like ironclad because it's a callback to well Torbjorn's classic skin but in a Brigida form but if you're not using the cat emote you're using the wrong one because look at that chonky cat oh no no leave leave the cat on the field this should be a continuous emo if it's gonna be a legendary emo and I do have Brigida's golden shield which on the goat skin looks fantastic I love how they made her accessory the shield itself golden too because if they didn't it probably wouldn't be worth getting the golden weapon for it you can even see it in the highlight intro too oh that's clean diva is one of my favorite heroes in overwatch and it's definitely due to her lineup of cosmetic items not even just her skins but when it comes to her skins i don't think she has a single bad skin recently i've been using the 2020 specific all-star because i use a lot of the overwatch league skins because they're rare and also very beautiful and this is no exception i love her pants and how the stars kind of move with with her pants but i use cruiser a lot because i really like the 50s aesthetic just without the sexism and uh, racism and academy is always fun because uh I, I i think we all know why i like uh, academy but i also like the undead cat skin i also like the black cat skin like i don't think she has a single bad skin i have the houston outlaws skins for her because that's how much i love diva and, and even the event skins that she got the nano cola skin oh i remember when this first dropped i was so excited to finally be getting rare and exclusive skins that were limited time she's also one of the few heroes that have a legendary emote the game on emote that really showcases her gamer girl skin side streaming on twitch or apm tv korea which is basically twitch but her voice lines this is one of the few heroes where i actually love at each and every single voice line for her because they're very short very cute but also fits her aesthetic the gamer girl aesthetic which i mean surprise surprise i really like even the sprays are fun too they're very pink very kawaii but i love her hollywood look man i love everything about diva which is why she was the hero that got the third gold gun four this was one of my first heroes that i ever got may was first M mercy was second then diva was third and i don't regret it at all because i think this is one of the best gold guns in game doomfist is one of my least favorite heroes in overwatch not because of its cosmetic items but because of in-game purposes i don't think a lot of people like to be pummeled and pinned to the wall unless you're into that uh, kind of thing but when it comes to his cosmetic items oh my god they're fire i used to use thunder a lot and right now i'm using gladiator because well it's an anniversary skin but most of the time i will be using the overwatch league san francisco shock championship skin but sometimes you will see me rock informal or swamp monster like he has some hidden gems in here like if you want to invest your time in doomfist don't but if you want to get some skins please do because you will not be disappointed the only issue that i have with doomfist is that his highlight and shows are very boring they're just in-game abilities of him punching or him ulting or him just using his rocket knuckles or something they're kind of lame and i do have his gold gun but it's on a different account so if you're wondering where it is it's not here. <laughs> Echo is slowly becoming one of my favorite heroes, both in-game and cosmetic-wise. I mean, even when you look at her epic skins, Bird of Paradise and Ragdoll, those could easily be legendary skins, <laughs> and are two very distinctly different legendary skins, so it's hard for me to pick my favorite one.
one. But even the legendary skins, I have a new favorite Echo skin every single week. Recently, I've been using Good and Evil before Bird of Paradise. Kachi, when the Lunar Event came out, oh my god, I fell in love with it because it's a bird-inspired skin, which, I mean, she looks like a bird. Surf's Up was just a good play on her hero design. And Moth and Butterfly, when she first released, I thought these were good legendary skins to start off with. Stealth and Camo, not so much. But yeah, Echo is just a great hero to get into, which is why I got her gold gun right away because I figured, well, she's a fun hero to play and it's just an all-around fun hero to look at too. She's just an all-around beautiful hero. Awakening is a fantastic highlight intro and even Fan Dance with this and the Kachi skin. Oh my god, it's a perfect pair, but I can't wait to see when they bring the highlight intro for Echo where she transforms into a bunch of heroes. You saw that in like the hero trailer. Don't know why they didn't bring that for the anniversary event, but I also want to see more victory poses like this where she transforms into other heroes. Here she's McCree, and I thought that's just very fun. Play onto the idea that she transforms into other heroes. All right, weebs, your favorite hero is finally here, Genji. I love Genji. Everything about him is awesome. Even his rare and exclusive skins, I love. The 2018 Pacific All-Star and Illidan, two of the best rare and exclusive skins that you can ever get. I use Illidan the most because I don't see a lot of people using this because you did have to go to 2019 BlizzCon, and I got invited by Blizzard. That's how I got this skin. So once they actually release this skin to the public, I'm gonna be sad, but until then, I'm gonna be flexing because a lot of people, they use Blackwatch, a lot of people, they use Bahu, which are fantastic skins, but Illidan, come on now, that's pretty fire. I don't know if that's Sake in his cup, but I'm kind of surprised that he doesn't have a Sake voice line like his brother, but I have the Mata Mata voice line, which, I mean, Genji voice lines are always iconic, but so freaking annoying. It seems like there's a new annoying voice line every single week, and then, of course, I have his golden weapons, one of my favorite gold weapons I ever invested in because you get the golden stars and the golden sword, something that I always look forward to when seeing a new Genji skin. Like here, it's like a fiery blade, or for, uh, uh, Bushi, it's like an actual katana with a dragon blade. It's always a fun time to see. Okay, Hanzo. So we have Junkrat up next. <laughs> no, we'll go through Hanzo, even though I don't want to. Now, I know I'll sound completely biased when I say this, but... I don't like Hanzo skins. Like, there's not really one that's super memorable. Like, right now, I'm using the Halloween one because I really like how they made a schnauzer so ginormous. But there's not really one that sticks out to me that's like, whoa, that's really awesome. Like, Cyber Ninja I used for the longest because, well, that was really the only decent Hanzo skin. Wave is kind of cute because of the shorts, but that's really about it. I also used Demon for a little bit because I liked his eyes, but... That's really all there is to it. <laughs> I also used the okay. sake voice line to try to get me a little bit drunk so that I don't at all remember that I'm playing this hero. And if you are wondering why I have the Hanzo Gold Gun, even though I absolutely hate this hero, well, this was my April Fool's joke, which was uh, something that I definitely regret because uh, I could have gotten the Soldier Gold Gun. No, I'd rather get the Hanzo Golden Bow than the Soldier Gold Gun. <laughs> but just like Doomfist, all of Hanzo's highlight and shows is just him shooting his bow. Like, this hero is so lame, man. But a hero that is not lame is Junkrat. I have a new favorite Junkrat skin every single week. And I think the reason why I love Junkrat skins so much is that they transform everything about him. Like in Junk Food, they transform his peg leg to have more suckers and candy. And in Belegerat, they transform his C4 to look like a pirate map. King Jameson, you have a diamond weapon. Or Beatrat, you have a rubber ducky <laughs> as his rip tire. They're just so many little details that go into making Junkrat, and they don't skip out on any details, and that's why I love him so much. Even his epic skins, like here he looks like Naruto when he finally gets the Nine Tails Fox Chakra, or the Bro You Wax skin in the form of Circus, or Elf, which is the Grinch skin. Like, there's so many fun Junkrat skins, and even his items, they really bring out his fun and energetic, but kind of chaotic personality. Like, he doesn't sit still a lot of the time, and he's always just laughing and giggling. And like, who can forget how many items are related to Roadhog? Here, Feast is similar to the Roadhog Highland intro too. Like, I'm kind of surprised it took me this long to get Junkrat's Golden Gun. This was the last DPS hero besides Soldier that I needed to get it for. But yeah, I don't know why I didn't get it, but I'm happy that I did. Lucio, this is a hero that I want to love a little bit more because he's just an all-around perfect hero. Perfect skins, perfect emotes, great Highland intros. The only thing that he's not really perfect in is the Gold Gun because, well, yeah, 
yes, it is pretty obvious that you have the Lucio Gold Gun. In some skins, it's not so obvious. Like, with the 2019 Pacific All-Star skin, which I use most of the time because, again, a flex skin, he kind of has the Gold Gun. Same with Hippity Hoppity. Like, here, you have the Gold Gun. It even looks like... Wait, is that... Do I have the Gold Gun equipped? Let me unequip it and then go to Hippity Hop. Yeah, see? You have the golden gun with hippity hoppity, but other than that, you have equalizer and animated skin, something that I always love. Jazzy, you get a little Easter egg in the form of the music whenever you switch between songs. You have like jazzy music, a fast jazz or slow jazz, but most of the time, you want to be rocking the 2019 Pacific All Star skin because, I mean, his hair color changes based on the song. That's so dope. McCree, everyone's favorite cowboy. So he has some of the best legendary skins, and I'm always switching between like Blackwatch or Lifeguard because, well, both skins are very tasty but I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have like a rare and exclusive skin like a BlizzCon skin or an Overwatch League skin or a skin challenge because well he's a fan favorite why wouldn't you make one for him but he also has a lot of great epic skins Undead and American and two of my favorites sometimes I even switch between these because of even the gun look at that American flag with the gold camo Oh, that's the main reason why I got the gold magnum because it just looks so clean, man. One problem that I have with McCree items is that they really focus in on the cowboy aesthetic. Like gun spinning or a hat tip. Yeah, that's an old western theme. I mean, go figure, he's a cowboy, but like, come on now. You don't always have to make him about death or, or, or dueling or trying to shoot his gun. That's why I really like the spark highlight intro because it's not really related to cowboy themes. It's just him having a fun celebration <laughs> but now we've reached my favorite hero may i'm gonna go into each and every single category of items and talk about my favorites because i love everything about this hero including each and every single skin, which I have every skin unlocked. Are you surprised? Recently, I've been using the May Melee skin, which not a lot of people like, mainly because of the hairstyle. I thought it was a good functional hairstyle for the type of skin that she's rocking, which is a boxing skin. But my favorite skin of all time is Honeydew May. This is my favorite May skin, in case you were wondering. But for a while there, it was Beekeeper because, well, look at <laughs> look at Snowball. He's a little bee in the backpack. has a little tiny bee, too. But Pajama May was also one of my favorites because of the cute little pajama pants and the slippers, which I do have have in real life. I used to use Luna a lot too. That was one of my favorite skins. Penguin is also slowly becoming one of my favorite skins because, well, it's May as, <laughs> as a penguin. Are you starting to catch a theme here? A lot of these are my favorite. I think the only skin that isn't my favorite is Abominable Yeti Hunter and Mary, which I want to love Mary so much more, but I can't because it's an epic skin. It is so boring. But, uh, can you tell that I like May? I have all of these old Overwatch League skins. You can't get the San Francisco Shock skin. You can't get this Valiant skin. You can't get this Florida Mayhem skin. And that's why I have so many Overwatch League skins. But I also like her epic skins too. Pumpkin and Bear are very cute. Like, she's just an all-around cute character. And that definitely shows in her emotes. My god, how many emotes does she have? I don't even know what my favorite is because I like the Sunny Dance one because, like, look at her. She's not the best dancer, but she's getting jiggy with it. Hopping is a good continuous emotes. I like the continuous emotes where you can use it once and it'll go on forever. You can get to the point and it actually walks when you're using this emote in game. And snowman, it's always a fun time because, well, I mean, you build a snowman for people and it stays for a little bit. <laughs> Victory poses. I've been using peace recently, but okay, she's just so cute. Look, she has hot cocoa in a murloc mug. Come on, man. Oh, she has a battle. I can't get enough of me. She's so cute. The voice Voice lines are always fun too, like a pun on words with her May or sorry, 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 sorry. That's part of the reason why I love May is that she's kind of like me where she's so apologetic. She's just trying her best, man. And yay is always fun. I think that's actually my bit donation on Twitch. The sprays, I'm going to keep it a fat buck with you. I actually think are kind of lame. I don't really have a favorite spray. I, I really like the snowball face like with the ooh, -ooh and <laughs> and the highlight intros. Frosty is probably one of my favorites because it breaks the fourth wall. But I also like Festive because you get a little cameo from Snowball with the lights. And Ice Cream is cool because Snowball scares May. And then the ice block and in-game <laughs> ability is shown in the highlight intro. I just, I just love May, man. And that's part of the reason why she was the first hero that I got the gold gun for. She's just one of my favorite heroes. And just an all-around great hero to get into if you're wanting to find a new main to play. She's great in-game. Actually, no. 
well, she's actually pretty bad, but she's fun, man. She's really fun. All right, hot gamer boys and e-girls everywhere. Mercy is finally here. The hero that has probably the most legendary skins, but definitely the most best legendary skins. So I have all three rare and exclusive Mercy skins with 2019 Atlantic All-Star, Dr. Ziggler, and Pink Mercy, but Pink Mercy is probably the most sought after skin and is actually the number one Overwatch skin. The story behind it, how much money we're able to raise, how it looks to, like this is the perfect Overwatch skin. But I also like all the other legendary skins, like Wing Victory has her looking like a complete goddess, Witch has her looking intimidating, it looks like she's gonna step on you. Even Dragoon, something that most Mercy mains don't like, I actually love because she's not always supposed to look cutesy and uwu, but I always appreciate when they do do that. Even the epics, my god, she has so many skins, man. Do y'all like camouflage Mercy mains? Because her hair, I like, but the rest of the body, it's... It's kind of boring, I'm gonna admit. <laughs> she also has one of my favorite dances, just a cute little shimmy and a victory pose. That's not self-healing. That is DPS tears that she's drinking. But also her highlight intro, specifically the fortune one, is my favorite, mainly because this is the only skin-specific highlight intro that you can get, where if you have the pink skin and fortune equipped, you can get this fortune, like, design pink instead of yellow, which I think was pretty cool. And that's why she was my third hero that I got the gold gun for, which is definitely one that I don't regret, but I wish I just was better with Mercy. I'm terrible with her, but I'm trying to get better. And the last hero we're gonna be looking at is Moira. Now, her skins are always a hit and miss for me. Like, I use Banshee a lot. That's probably one of my favorite. Ice Empress is one that I always forget, but is always a good one, too. Kind of reminds me of Frozen. But recently, I've been using Venus because that's just the recently released one. It's not really one of my favorites, but you know, when it comes to Moira skins, she's not the best. There's definitely heroes that deserve a little bit more skin love or just easier to design skins around like Mercy, but but any single time a Moira skin comes around, I always look forward to seeing the disappointment that I'm gonna get. But I do like her emo dance. If you don't know, this is inspired from the emos that are dancing underneath the bridge, which was awesome too. Her voice lines though, this is also one hero that I really do like because she just seems so intimidating and so sassy. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a sub, but... I kind of like it. I like being degraded by her. <laughs> and her golden nails. Like, if you haven't gotten Mora's gold gun, you should definitely consider getting it because I love quirky gold guns. This is definitely one of the most quirkier ones because of the golden nails and golden wrists. I guess we can go through the sprays, which a lot of them are just achievement sprays. Like, play with a friend. Probably my hardest achievement spray that I had to get because, well, I had to play with a friend. But I also got, like, get to level 10 or transport people through Symmetra's teleporter, which became easier over time. You know, stuff like that. I've just gotten over the past four and a half years because they're either easy or because I just play events every single year. So I have mostly each and every single Halloween winter spray, even the lunar sprays. A lot of these are just sprays from, from events that are just universal. And then my earliest competitor spray that I got is season three. That's actually when I started to play Overwatch. I didn't play season one or season two. I also don't have a lot of top 500 sprays with the exception of season 27 because well that was the may spray but i don't know man i don't want to play 50 games just to get into top 500 even though i can and then i play the lucio ball events and then the capture the flag and then deathmatch events so i play a lot of competitive events each and every single season i have all the overwatch league sprays a lot of special sprays that you get from either skin challenges or just watching the overwatch league grand finals you know stuff like that and the rest of these are like pve specific specific challenges or, or, or events that gives you sprays. Now, they don't count when it comes to completing the hero gallery, thank God, because I don't really want to play <laughs> Junk and Sun's Revenge or the Archives event on Legendary or Hard Difficulty or the Retribution or Storm Rising because that would just be painful. But yeah, here's Season 1. I never played Season 1 and Season 2 I never played. And these are all just top 500 sprays. Season 5 is probably my favorite with the sunset. That is so pretty. But some of these are just so amazing, so cool that I wish I would have gotten but I just wasn't really good enough and then the top 500 sprays are now just gold guns and yeah these are the oh, wait how do you get super fans what the heck this is so cute! But anyway, guys, let me actually know what hero you did complete in the hero gallery so far. And tune in tomorrow where I will be looking at the rest of these heroes that I did not cover. But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.